Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Ultima Edition. Last time we made our way to the Underworld and we also got Rydia in our party. Then Golbez stole the Dark Crystal, so there's one more Dark Crystal left to find around here. And as you can see, the Underworld has drastically changed in this hack. So I did, uh, I did some grinding yesterday, but I also went... Oh, and we got some new enemies. But I also went and I pretty much explored the entirety of what I could access in the underworld to see if, you know, there was anything new, any kind of new um, caves to go into, treasures to find, you know, that sort of stuff. Um, and I actually did run into one particular cave that had some treasures. So we're going to go there first, then we're going to head to the Tower of Babel in order to... Um, I don't know, infiltrate Golbez's fortress and steal all the crystals that he already stole. I think that's what we're supposed to be doing. I don't know. <laughs> I've played this game so many times at this point, it's just like, I just know where to go next. I don't really know why I'm going where I'm going, I just know to go there. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, another thing that I changed up is... Um, I gave Rosa the flail again, because whenever she's leveling up and grinding... Oh, more new enemies, and of course we're re-assaulted. But anyway, uh, whenever she's leveling up and grinding, I don't want her to, like, waste all of her arrows, you know? So I just wanted to go ahead and um, give her the flail, so that she's able to deal decent damage from the back row. Um, and she is also able to target some weaknesses. There are a lot of reptilian enemies down here um, that the flail is strong against, so you definitely do want to um, use that. Hey, awesome! Oh, I'm gonna need to heal. But here we have our first cave with some treasure. So let's see what we got going on here. Oh, a full boomerang and a dark hood. Very nice. The Dark Hood I want to go ahead and give to Cecil. It is a direct upgrade to the Headband, um, increasing his evasion, his stamina, his defensive power. Yeah, his strength does go down, like, what is it, literally one point, um, but, I mean, who cares? The Dark Hood is just so much better. So he needs the extra defenses, let's go ahead and stick that on him. One thing of note, the Full Moon Boomerang um, Cecil can actually equip. It's no good. I mean, it does deal extra damage from the back row, there's that. But it's just interesting, he couldn't equip it in the, um, original game. Same thing with Kane. He can also equip the full moon. So, yeah, if you want to give them the boomerangs, hey, have at it. Other things of note. Um, let's see. Rosa learned a couple of spells. She learned the Curse spell, the Mini spell, and the Float spell. So that's nice to have. Don't really need this Float spell yet, but we will soon enough. Uh, Rydia learned the Psych spell, so there's that. Nothing too major. And Cecil learned the Safe spell. So, yeah. Didn't he learn Life in the original version? I'm pretty sure he did. Uh-oh. Monsters! Whoa! Five warriors! Yikes! These warriors are pretty damn tough. They just dealt 900 damage to Yang. Did you guys see that? Yeah. Um, but against Cecil, they're not really dealing all that much damage, thankfully. So for right now, you want to spread out your attacks with Rosa, slow them, and then the main thing that will kill them is Radius Summoning Titan. These guys have 2,400 HP and no weaknesses. For the most part, whenever an enemy has no elemental weaknesses, I like to target them with other non-elemental attacks, such as, you know, Earth, um, the Mist Dragon is non-elemental, I believe, um, you know, stuff like that. I, I, I just think that that's a, a pretty decent way to go about it. Wow, it's like every single status ailment in the game just got inflicted on that guy. <laughs> so here comes Titan. I haven't seen him since the uh, very beginning of the game, actually. Oh, yeah, that's the type of damage that I like to see. Just slaughter these guys right there. Perfect. 
Ooh, Rosalorn Fast, one of the best spells in the game. And we get the Gorgon Sword. So the Gorgon Sword will inflict the stone status if it's anything like any other Gorgon things that I've gotten before. So yeah, it applies stone right there. And let's see, Thunder Sword is 97 attack, Gorgon. The accuracy isn't all there, but the attack power does go up, and I like applying instant death with stone. So now I have Rydia who can do instant death, and Cecil can too. So, Kane has an 87 attack rating right now with a Dwarven Axe, but with a Thunder Sword, 96! Yes, please! Okay, so, we got some weapons to upgrade uh, those two. So now let's head on over towards our actual goal. I wish that I could use the Sight spell in this game just to show you this um, underworld, and then I could really get a grip for it too. I've actually created a little map so I don't get lost, but you no longer gain the Sight spell in this game, it just doesn't exist, and the magic map item casts the Sight spell is bugged in my version of the game, and I really don't feel like updating the patch to, you know, just have the magic map work, it's not that big of a deal. So I guess these are the tanks uh, providing cover for Cecil. That's pretty neat. Can we? No, we can't actually go that way. And you can actually just walk over the tanks. Also, many enemies around here can um, inflict the blind status ailment, but I'm pretty sure that that status ailment is bugged and it doesn't work as intended because I've yet to miss and I have three of my guys blinded. So yeah, who knows? Anyway, let's go ahead and save. Let's see. Yeah, save over Tella. He sucks. And head on inside the uh, Tower of Babel. Wait, what in the world is this guy? We need to get set up before we fight this guy. Okay, so first things first. Let's take off this Kaiser Claw and put on an Ice Claw because he is weak against ice. Then for Rosa, let's see. Um, I don't think that she needs any changes, actually. Cecil, you're going to think I'm crazy, but here's what you do. Take off his flame equipment. Yeah, he's gonna be half naked for this fight, but it's fine. Um, Rydia, let's see. I think that she's good. Does she have like a wand or something? No, okay, that's fine, whatever. Um, and Kane, yeah, take off his flame equipment as well. Definitely have the Thunder Sword equipped on Kane. It is imperative to have that on him. Um, and now, uh-oh, an attack protocol, yikes, for boss time, against the Magma G and two Beamers. Okay, basically what you want to do, this is why I disequipped that, um, that flame stuff, because otherwise that would be dealing a ton of damage to Cecil and Kane. Um, go after them as much as humanly possible. Kane should be jumping. I want Rosa to be slowing all of them. Do not, do not, do not, do not, do not, do not kill the beamers. If you kill the beamers, then the magma giant there, golem, or whatever the hell it is, is going to go apeshit crazy on your party and continually just beam it to death. So make sure the beamers stay alive. Um, whenever you do cast Ice 2, he likes to counter with his own Ice 2. So you might not want to cast that. That's completely up to you. Let's get a Cure 3 going on everyone as well. Yeah, I don't like having everybody so low. I like to keep them somewhat in the thousands at least. The main source of your damage is obviously going to be coming from Kane's jumps. Um, let's see, we'll try a Virus on it, see if that deals any better damage without a counterattack or anything. Oh, it's actually comparable dealing uh, that much damage. Yeah, so that's kind of nice. And let's see what else I want to do. Let's go ahead and, you know what, I need to wait for it. Let's wait for Kane to uh, land. Wow, that Gorgon Sword's not doing all that much damage to him compared to Kane. He just came down with um, like 6,000 damage on this guy. So I want to get a fast on Kane so that he's able to deal even more damage and get his turn a bit quicker. You keep on virusing these guys. We're actually doing okay on HP right now. Um, but yeah, this Magma Golem has 
23,500 HP. He is a robot, so he is weak to... Oh, well, there we go. We got rid of him, so now let's just get rid of the beamers. He's a robot, so that's why he's weak to the Thunder Sword. And he is also weak to Ice Magic. So, yeah. Um, let's see how much HP these beamers have. Let's get a virus going on both of them, actually. Whoa! Yeah, Kane. Oh, I love it! I'm gonna be dealing with a lot of robots in this place. So, uh, having him equipped with that sword is very, very handy. Ooh, get some Bacchus wine. Awesome. Kind of was a close call, actually. I'll get some more ice arrows. Awesome. And over here, there's another treasure chest. So let's go ahead and uh, check this one out. I'll get a north wind. That was originally an ether in the uh, previous version of the game. I would honestly rather have an ether than a north wind. I'm not a fan of attack items or effect items in general. Oh, okay. So we get a barrette. I already got a barrette, like, way earlier in the game. I got another one now. We might as well go ahead and give that to Kane to increase his attack power as well. Yeah, it is going to lower his defense by three points, but who cares? I mean, <laughs> the extra attack is really where it's at. Kane doesn't really need the defense anyway. Half the time he's jumping and he's off the screen, so whatever. Uh oh, monsters! Okay, here we have an alert. This guy is a robot based enemy, and um, he will summon monsters to attack us if he can live long enough to do that, but we jumped him, and he can't, so we don't have to worry about it. And for doing that, we get a Blizzard Lance. Let's go ahead and check that one out. Let's see, so we got the Thunder Sword, the Blizzard Lance. It's a little bit weaker than the Thunder Sword, but it is Ice Elemental, which is nice. Um, For right now, we'll keep them where they're at. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> okay, I probably should have equipped that. Well, you know what? I can just go into his um, into his thing and change it here. Um, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, let's go ahead and change it here just so I have access to the lizard. There we go. And let's just go after these guys as quickly as humanly possible. Thankfully, the Gorgon Sword is non-elemental, so we can just attack it that way. Yang still has the Ice Claws equipped. So, um, oh, sweet, instant death. That's what I like. Yeah, with the Ice Claws equipped, he's dealing ice-based damage, so, yeah, we got two elemental users here. Awesome. Those flame dogs can be quite a handful, especially in the DS version of the game. They can just kill you dead so fast. Oh, this guy, you know what, I probably don't even need to, um... Probably don't even need to use the um, the Thunder Sword to kill this guy with a jump. I'll just jump him and see what happens. Oh shit, I do! Oh hell, Chimera! Oh, this sucks. Oh, I hate Chimeras. Oh, they're just the worst. Oh god, well at least I was able to kill it there with uh, a virus. At least it doesn't have that much HP. Oh wow, I can pretty much just one-shot these Chimeras over and over and over again, but yeah, let's get rid of this alert, because I don't want the Chimeras to blaze me to death. That would be bad. Ooh, I learned Wall. Sweet. And we get the Ice Brand Sword, which works just like the, um, the Blizzard Sword that we got. It's, or the Blizzard Spear. Ooh, another Kaiser Claw, but you know what? Um, I already have a Kaiser Claw, and the Cat Claw's better, and I want the Ice Claw for the Ice Elemental attacks right there, so, yeah. So, in that last fight, I was fighting some Black Lizards, which are on the Overworld, and they actually went and they dropped another Gorgon Sword, so, yeah, I got two of those things now. If I want to turn, you know, things to stone even more than they're already stone. I could give it to Kane because the attack power's nice, but the Ice Elemental's nice, too. Another lunar gem. What do those things do? And a crappy ass north wind? Ah, uh, not a fan. Okay, anyway, what's over here? Hopefully, it's something decent. Oh, a frostbite whip. Hey, not bad. Wow, this was not in the original game. Um, so yeah, this. Oh, wow, it lowers all of her stats. Yeah, it can kill reptiles. And it has an ice-based element, and it can apply, um, 
paralysis, but I'm sorry. I'm sticking with the assassin dagger. The stat booster is too good. Oh, here we have a uh, egg. This is just a question mark enemy. We don't really know what's in it, but apparently whatever it was, it was weak to ice and we killed it. It's probably one of those black lizards. If we didn't kill it in the first round, then it would have hatched and started attacking us, but eh, we took it out. Okay, over here there's a save point. I don't think I need to use a tent. Yeah, I'm actually doing halfway decent, so I'm going to skip that for right now. I'll probably regret it, but eh, whatever. So let's see what else we got going on through here. Yeah, this place is actually rather long, I've got to say. Consisting of eight floors? I mean, it's kind of crazy. Oh, another alert! Yeah, I'm not getting fooled this time, alert. I am definitely putting on my Sword of Thunder, and then I'm gonna jump you into oblivion. I don't care what you summon. I don't want to deal with whatever it is that you summon. It's probably damned annoying, whatever you summon, and I'm just done with it. Okay, so let's go ahead and give... Um, any kind of shield upgrades, any kind of um, stuff like that upgrades, armor upgrades, I should say. Give to Cecil, because Cecil covers, and, um, let's see. Wait, why is that? Wait, did I already go in here? Why is this? Oh, okay, it's just an empty chest. Huh. The hat couldn't have put in, like, a chest that wasn't empty? Oh, well. In the original version of the game, there was actually nothing in that room, so I want to say that that's just uh, paying homage to to the original version of the game, where that room just didn't have anything. Get some ice armor. And some full upgrades now for uh, Cecil here. And I am quickly running out of room as well. I have plenty of gold, so I'll probably end up dropping some of this extraneous equipment. Just so I can get, you know, the, the good stuff. Also, at this point, I'm going to be saving Rose's MP for healing. I've already used up all of Cecil's MP for healing. Oh, a Stardust. Hey. I wonder if that's a, um, if that's a rod, or if that is just an item that you can use to cast that twin magic. Yeah, that's just an item, so I don't want to worry about that. But anyway, I'm going to be using, um potions that I have in my inventory for healing. Remember I bought that huge stack of high potions? Yeah, this is what it's for. Hmm, a locked door. Whatever shall we do about that? Oh, yikes, here we have some tofu and a back attack. With a chimera, my favorite. This is just loverly, I must say. Let's go ahead and have Kane jump on the uh, chimera. Hopefully he can kill it first thing. Uh, you. You're gonna be calling Shiva. I'm pretty sure that these Tofus are weak against ice, because we've seen the ones that are weak against lightning, we've seen the ones... Really, that didn't kill him. We've seen the ones that are weak against fire as well, we haven't seen the ones that are weak against ice. So, because they are color-coordinated, they're blue, they're more than likely weak against ice. There we go. Killed them. We healed the Chimera. This sucks. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. At least it didn't blaze me. Thank God for small miracles, at least. Okay, looks like there's some treasure over here to be had. Okay, got an ether. Awesome. Should have gotten an ether on the first floor, but no, can't have that. Let's just keep on moving right along. And over here, we have our next save point, which I am going to actually be using this time. Definitely use a tent. Definitely save. But what awaits us at the top of this tower, and can we get those crystals from Golbez and foil all of his evil plans? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Ultima. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.